a charge is a maneuver that provides both bonuses and restrictions to a model's movement and action. When a model chooses to charge, it gains extra speed, but must move in a rigid fashion. A charging model gains extra damage, but must use its action to make melee attacks. A model must fulfill several prerequisites before it is permitted to charge. The model must not be affected by any ability that subtracts from its speed. Even if subsequent abilities give it a speed increase, any speed penalty will prevent charging. Rough terrain does not prevent charging. While a model without Pathfinder must spend twice his movement in rough terrain, this is not a penalty to his speed. A model must have both its normal movement and action available to charge. It cannot charge if it chose to, or were forced to, sacrifice its movement or action for any reason, like in order to get up after being knocked down. A charging model must have a melee range. Our poor squire here has no melee weapon, and thus no range. He cannot charge. Note that war beasts and war jacks always have at least a half-inch melee range. Some models have additional prerequisites. War beasts must be forced for one fury to charge. Warjacks must spend one focus to charge. Any members of units may only charge if they are under a charge order. To charge, a model must first declare a target. The charging model requires line of sight to his target. Our warp wolf stalker here in the middle with the sword can declare a charge against the swamp war or any of the fish people, but cannot attempt to charge against the crow hunter at the top because the hunter is behind an obstruction. Once a target is declared, the charging model turns to face any direction that would allow it to move in a straight line such that it ends with its target in its melee range. Our stalker could choose to charge along this line to bring it above the horror. Or it could choose a very different line to charge down here. As long as the stalker ends up with the horror in his reach, it's a legal charge attempt. A model cannot attempt a charge that could not possibly end with its target in range. This movement isn't a failed charge, it's an illegal move that cannot be attempted. The stalker could not charge such that he ended up by that wall. A charging model moves along his charge line, a distance equal to his speed plus 3 inches. A charging model cannot cut his charge short before he gets his target in his melee range. Once his target is in range, he can choose to immediately stop, or he can continue moving along the straight line he charged. He must keep the target in his melee range, though. He cannot continue his charge such that he then moves out of melee range. If a charging model touches another model's base, the way our stalker, charging a fish person in the back here, touches the swamp horror's base, the charge immediately stops. Similarly, a model's charge movement ends if he touches an obstruction. Linear obstacles, like this wall, also stop a model's charge movement, unless the charging model has Pathfinder. Once the charge movement is over, the charging model turns to directly face its charge target. When a charging model's movement ends, it checks to see if its charge target is in its melee range. If the target is not in range, the charging model's activation immediately ends. The model cannot take an action, or use its Anytime During the Activation abilities. If the charging model ends his charge with his target in melee range, the charge is successful, and the model can continue his activation normally. It can use any time abilities, like Animai or Megalith Geomancy, after a successful charge and before his action. If a model has made a successful charge, it must take a combat action. It cannot spend its action on a special action. Special actions will be labeled with a star icon and the word action. Special actions often involve healing or other non-combat effects. A mechanic, for instance, could not charge his own warjack and then use his action to repair it. A charging model must make melee attacks with its combat action. It may choose to make initial melee attacks or a special attack with a melee weapon. If it chooses to make initial attacks, it makes one attack with each of the melee weapons listed on its card. If it chooses to use a melee special attack, it foregoes its initial attacks and instead follows the rules of that special attack. Special attacks are labeled with a star icon and the word attack. They must be listed under one of the model's melee weapons on its card to be considered a melee special attack. The first attack a charging model makes must target his charge target. 
Subsequent attacks may target anyone in his melee range. Our stalker here has charged the swamp horror and must attack it first, but may go after the fish people with any of his other attacks. If the charging model moved at least three inches during his charge, then his first attack is considered to be a charge attack. A charge attack's attack roll is made like normal, but its damage roll is automatically boosted. Charge attacks are affected by many special rules, like set defense and powerful charge. Only the first attack is a charge attack. Even if a special melee attack like Thresher lets you make multiple simultaneous attacks. If a charging model did not move at least 3 inches, its first attack is not a charge attack. It is not automatically boosted and is not affected by special rules such as set defense and powerful charge. A model that charged less than 3 inches still must target his charge target with his first attack. If a model makes a successful charge, but his target is destroyed or moved out of range before he makes his attack, he may still make an attack targeting any model in his melee range. This attack is not considered to be a charge attack. We see this most often when units attack. These fish people each charge into this unit of boom howlers. Our first fish from the bottom dispatches his target. So does the next fish up. The third fish, our leader, is left without an enemy in his melee range and cannot attack. Our fourth fish up lost his charge target as well, but he can reach the last boom howler, so he'll make an attack on him. This attack is not a charge attack, so his damage won't be boosted and he won't get the plus two attack roll bonus from powerful charge. Bloody Barnabas here has the counter charge ability. This lets him charge a nearby enemy that just moved, outside of Barnabas' activation. When a model charges outside its activation, follow all the normal rules for a charge, but ignore the requirements involving its normal movement and action. Since it's an out-of-activation movement, the countercharging model can charge even if it were under an effect that forced it to sacrifice its move or action. That penalty will kick in when Barnabas activates later. A model still can't countercharge while affected by a speed penalty. A model charging out of activation also doesn't make a normal combat action. He only makes one normal melee attack. He cannot make a special melee attack. If you moved at least three inches, this one attack is a charge attack, and the damage is automatically boosted. If you move less than three inches, he still makes one melee attack, but it is just a normal attack. Either way, he cannot spend focus or fury to boost rolls or to buy attacks outside of his activation. These Boom Howlers gain the Assault special rule when Murdoch here is bossing them around. The Assault rule lets a charging model make one normal ranged attack after the charge movement. The Assaulting model must target its charge target with its ranged attack. It can make this attack if it is engaged in melee, even if it is engaged with an enemy that was not its charge target. It does not suffer the firing into melee penalty for this attack. It still makes the ranged attack even if the charge fails. It's only unable to make a ranged attack if it began its charge engaged in melee. The ranged attack is made as part of the charge movement right after the movement is complete. When a unit assaults, you must make all the charge moves first, then resolve all of the ranged attacks. Some of our boom howlers in the back failed their charges here, but they'll still get to make their ranged attacks with no penalty for their target being in melee. Murdoch's charge failed as well. He'll make his ranged attack, but then his activation will immediately end. He won't be able to use an any time during your activation ability, like go to ground this activation. Charging is one of the most essential War Machine maneuvers and one of the first rules new players learn. While the basics are simple enough, plus three movement, boosted melee damage, there is a lot of nuance here especially when you start working with special rules like countercharge and assault, and special attacks like Thresher. Understanding all the ins and outs of the charge rules will make you a better player, and also a better mentor for new players. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, check out GearWig.com for frequent updates, and contact me at the email address below.